This is the blood of the everlasting life. This bread is my body. My deliverance shall happen here. Say what? I thought it was September 11th. This is our high holy year. This is a high holy season. The season of Beta Israel, of Black Israel's redemption, and the righteous among the Gentiles with them. This is the season, and this is the reason for the season, my brothers and sisters. It's the Rosh Chodeshim, right? Rosh Chodeshim, right? And the, the blessing in the Moshiach. It's the glory of the Father. Yet he writes on Melfanika Adonai Loheinu Velohe Avoteinu Shete Hadesh Alenu Hodesh of Be Adenenu Yeshua Hamushiach. Amen. Amen. May it be your will, O Abba Father, our power. The power of our ancestors, of our patriarchs, of I and I fathers, that you, that the I renew for I and I a good month in I and I Master Adonenu Yeshua Ha Moshiach. Amen and Amen. Yes, my brothers and sisters, I got a little bit of time. Um, this, is, this is a small bit of time right here to continue from the previous vid that had stopped a little bit suddenly. But I've been meditating on these um, this trinity of signs that you see in the top um, in the top art right there. Um, the super moon, right? The total solar eclipse, right? And the the spring equinox, or the some call it the vernal equinox. Right, all corresponding. These are the outer signs. Right, these are the signs, the heavenly signs. Yet, in the word is even greater sign that explains to us the reason for this season. This is why I call the previous vid um, Black Israel's season of liberation. And this is leading up to Pesach, leading up to Passover which is a blood moon in a Shemitah year, fulfilling Joel's prophecy, bringing Joel's prophecy even this much more closer. And this uh, Torah portion, this uh, Shabbat Torah portion here, we call it the RSS, Rastafari Sabbath study number 24, is known as Weyikra, Weyikra, Weyikra. And he called, or modern Jews call it, uh, Vayikra, right? And he called in the Metzaf Kedus of Moa An Bessazem Negedi Yehuda of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Kedamawi Haile Selassie. This is known as Taruto, Taruto in the Amharic. Now, we're beginning a new, um, a new uh, book of Moses, of Moshe. And this particular book of Moshe that we're beginning right here is known as Leviticus, also the Sefer Ha, ha um, a Kahanim, right? Or the, the Cipher, the book of the handbook of the priest, 
All right, the handbook of the priest. Now we know that the old uh, types in the new covenant of Yeshua HaMoshiach Adonainu are done away with, but they're still significant for us in the spirit, all right, in the spirit of HaMoshiach. So thus we study it in that veil. Yah willing is lifted off of our eyes in the reading of the Old Testament, in the reading of the Old Covenant book. So here's where we're at right here, right now, my brothers and sisters, as this is leading up to um, Pesach, right, or Fasika, as we're leading up to Passover. So just meditating on these um these heavenly signs, and then studying in the word, and in the Christ mind, in the Moshiach mind, in his way, truth, and life, it really is a beautiful meditation. And I said, let me just do a vid just to remind brothers and sisters, say, Adis Melkam Adis Ahmet, you know, Shana Tov, right? Or, um, uh, uh, Shana Ha Kodesh, right? Oh, because it's a holy, this is our holy year beginning with this first month. It says, This shall be the beginning of months. And this is now those of us in that covenant, right? Those of us in the covenant recognize the importance of this in the Moshe, and especially for the once lost but now found Beta Israel. This is so very, very important. So the commandment is to sanctify, to make holy, set apart the first new moon of the year. So this first new moon within our Hebraic and uh, Beta Israel calendar is a super moon, a super moon that corresponds with the sun not giving its light, especially in West and the Western Europe and the whole connection to the Europeans, the Anglo-Americans, Anglo-Europeans with the state of the lost sheep of the house of Israel in this time of the Gentiles is all very, very significant as well. So looking at these signs lining up and then coming forward on Pesach or Fasica Passover is that blood moon sign as well. And now we know that we're in this um, Jubilee, or really a Shemitah year, right? We're in this uh, Shemitah, Shemitah year, which is a, a year of release, a year of debt cancellation. So what debt is being canceled for the once lost but now found beta Israel? Is those curses for disobedience for those of Beta Israel that have faith in our Black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMoshiach? So this is particular to the seed, right? But not discounting the righteous among the Gentiles. But the message first to the Jew, then to the Gentile. He came to save his people Israel, right, from their sin. Now, yes. Our ancestors rejected it, but we're of that, that Joshua generation, brothers and sisters, right? We're in that time with that Yeshua, right? The Yeshua generation. So the commandment, right, within the couple of minutes we have, still have a couple of, right? Um, we're in the commandment and keeping the commandment to sanctify, to set apart as Yetek Adaset. Adeset or Kodesh, holy, the first new moon of the year, the Rosh Chodashim, reveals that it is our response ability. Right? So we, he calls, right? Vayikra, Vayikra, he calls, how long? Rastafari call you, how long? Right? How long? As Rastafari called the lost sheep of the house of Israel. How long? It's not long, my brothers and sisters. And also, there's another supermoon coming forward as well. Let me show you this right here. Bring this over. Right? There's another supermoon coming forward right here. Right? And so we see the supermoon at the beginning. So we have a blood moon at the beginning. 
a blood moon at the ending. We have a super moon at the beginning, a super moon at the ending, and all this corresponds with the ancient Hebrew holy days of Jah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yehoah, Elohim. Amen. This is so it's our responsibility to sanctify, and to sanctify means to observe, right? To observe the biblical, right? The holy. Right, the biblical time, right, the biblical time in general. Now, it's interesting because um remember when Moses, because I, I see why I had to put the next super moon right there, it's in front of um black Moses right there. Remember when Moses came off of the mountains, his face shined, right? His face shined. Now, this is a new moon in Pisces. And upcoming is a new moon in Aries. Now, people say, well, why is that? In, are you talking about a, a, a astrology? No, I'm speaking about the Hebrew astronomy in the scriptures based on that, 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 that glory of his as Psalm um, 19 speaks. Right. He sets his glory in the heavens. Right. For those who are called, chosen and faithful to reveal. Now. We observe the beginning of months, right? We are acknowledging that time itself. When we acknowledge even the connection between what is called, you know, um, the new moon, right? Now, this is an extraordinary time with the super moon and with the solar eclipse and March 20th, 2015, and the beginning of the Hebrew year, the month of Nisan, the month of Aviv, and that being the Rosh Chodesh, right? As well as 14 days later, Pesach, Pesach, and that's the next heavenly sign. And then Joel's prophecy speaks about the sun not giving its light, the moon being turned into blood, as well as other um, signs, right, among men and people. Right, which have escalated to such a point you can't just say that this is more than a coincidence because a coincidence means two co, like you know, co laborers like couple means two, but these are many, 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 in many ways, he is seeking to demonstrate his faithfulness, his love, as well as his calling. How long is he calling us? How long, Rastafari, call you? How long? So when you get a call, if you are responsible, what do you do when you get a call? Is you answer, right? So how do we answer? How do we observe? We observe that the biblical time, the biblical calculation of time, even the evening and the morning order, the Shabbatical order, the Sabbatical order, and even the new moon or the new month order, and especially this new year time beginning for us March 20th, 2015, is our high Hebrew holy year, the beginning of our high Hebrew holy year, 14 days, prepare, prepare, Pesach, Fasika is coming. We are acknowledging that time itself is rooted in the biblical calendar and its divinely inspired cycles of Moedim, of appointed times, of, of feasts, of festivals, right? The survival of the Falasha and their faith. In the village of Ambober near Gondar, it is the eve of Fasika, the traditional Passover. The annual cleansing of the synagogue is performed by priests and monks. Monastic life, common to Christian faith, was adopted long ago by the Falasha Jews. Married women mix dough for the ceremonial unleavened bread used in the Passover feast. It is baked on a clay griddle. Many falasha beliefs are outside the body of Jewish faith. The falasha do not observe all dietary laws. They know little of sacred lore beyond the Old Testament. And the Sabbath is a woman who intercedes with God for both the righteous and sinners.
Passover is an eternal song to Jewish survival, a remembrance of the exodus of Moses and the children of Israel from bondage in Egypt. It is a story more than 3,000 years old, and many Falasha regard it as their very own. They believe that one of the Hebrew tribes struck south from Egypt and settled in Ethiopia. Chanting in Hebrew, the youngest schoolboy asks, why is this night different from all others? Few Falasha understand the language of the Old Testament, but the story of Passover is known to them all. On this night, the flight to freedom began, away from Pharaoh's Egypt, away from the angel of death that brought destruction to the Egyptians, but passed over their houses. So quickly did the Jews depart, they were forced to bake their bread unleavened. To celebrate their escape, unleavened bread is eaten by Jews everywhere on Passover Eve. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.